Hello and welcome back to Ra Ra's Adventures. I hope you are all well. If you have only just joined and would like to help support Ra Ra's Adventures, please hit that subscribe button as that will really help support the, what we are doing. And it's free. Today we are visiting Petworth House to share what to expect whilst visiting. We have brought along the mobility scooter for me and to be able to share with you how we get on whilst we're going around the grounds. Today we have also been given permission to film inside Petworth House which is really exciting. I've been on the grounds before but never around the house so I'm quite looking forward to our visit and being able to share our findings with you. Something I did find out from their website, a little fun fact, was spanning 900 years of history and passing through just one family, Petworth House was built as an English Versailles to rival the palaces of Europe in the 17th century. So, we are going to make our way over to the house and then I will share some more about it. Before we go into the house, I would like to share some information about Petworth House before we go in. I have quoted this from their website so I give you the right information. Petworth House and Servant Quarters Petworth House is renowned as a champagne of art and culture and major works by the likes of Titan, Van Dyke, Reynolds and Flaxman Adorn and stateroom of the English First Styles. What makes Petworth truly unique is merging of its arts and interiors. Many of the owners of Petworth House are collectors of fine art and those work remain on display here at Petworth as the centrepiece of your visit. Far more than art gallery, you'll be hard pushed to find anywhere in the National Trust that combines a staggering collection of world-class art with the magnificent interiors of the carved room and marble hall. Not your average country house. The family line remains unbroken and descendants still live at Petworth House. Their bedrooms and those of their guests as well as any domestic furniture remain in the private side of Petworth House. Instead, it is the heart of the grandeur of the rooms and the stories of the collections that take centre stage. The painting and sculptures today are laid out in likeness similar to when, to when the third Earl of Vergament 1751 to 1837 lived in Petworth during the time that became known as Petworth's Golden Age. During this period, countless art artists, including English Romantic painter J. M. W. Turner, were invited to Petworth to take inspiration from the collection and the surrounding landscape and could also discuss art there with like-minded contemporaries through the room might seem overcrowded by our standards believe it or not this design and the merging of sculpture and painting chosen by the third Earl was revolutionary at the time as you wander through this, the state rooms today you are seeing them just as visitors like Turner did over 200 years ago we're now visiting the servant quarters and I'm going to share a little information that I've quoted from the website to give you the right information. So the servant quarters built in the mid 18th century, the servant quarters are little changed since Victorian times. The building would once have accommodated around 40 live-in servants and those bedrooms are above the kitchens and domestic service rooms used as a National Trust office today. By 1834 there were around 135 servants working at Petworth House in one form or another. The kitchen. 
The 19th century Petworth kitchen was comparable in scale to that of a major hotel, producing on average 100 meals a day. After a fire in 1872, the kitchen was refitted with the latest steam-powered technology but retained the traditional roasting range in front of the great fireplace, leaving 300 years of cooking style in one. The scullery. It was here where all the bottling, preserving and storing of jams, marmalades and pickles was done under the eye of the housekeeper. The still room maids used this room to make tea, coffee, soft drinks and fruit juices as well as more exotic preparation like brooms bottled in gin and strawberry in champagne. It was here that the maids prepared the early morning tea trays for the family and guests complete with toast and scone presented with nosegays from the garden. Today we also use the room as a meeting point for any tours. The pastry room. Away from the heat of the main kitchen, the room provided ideal working conditions for the making of pies, biscuits, cakes and pastries. A large high window provided good light for the main working area. In the lobby outside the pastry oven that would have been heated by bundles of lit twigs. Careful judgment requiring great skill and experience was needed to be a pastry chef to ensure everything was cooked perfectly. The pastry oven went out of use following the introduction of electric ovens in the main kitchen. Secrets of the servants. Wander the rooms and find out about the various staff like footman. Kitchen staff, estate staff, chefs, house stewards, housekeepers, undermaids and housemaids that were employed at Petworth. So we have come out onto the park side of Petworth house and park and grounds and I thought I'd share a little bit about this and I've quoted it from their website so that I give you the right information. So the magnificence of Petworth House is powerfully linked with the vast capability brown landscape Deer Park. There are over 700 acres of rolling hills to explore with giant ponds that offer moments of peace with still reflections. Enjoy far-reaching views of South Downs and discover the views that inspire J.M.W. Turner's watercolours of Petworth Park, many of which are on display in the house. Round the grounds and you will come across an historic herd of fallow deer as well as ancient and veteran trees, some of which are nearly a thousand years old. You can also discover idyllic capability brown monuments such as the iconic Rotoran and Doric Temple that add drama to the views of your encounter. Petworth Deer Park The majestic 700 acre deer park at Petworth is one of the finest surviving and unspoiled examples of an English landscape designed by Lancelot Capability Brown. Explore the historic park at Petworth Wonder in the footsteps of artists encountered the majestic herd of deer and sweep away the cobwebs with our walking trails. You'll find something to stop and admire everywhere you walk. So we've come to the end of our day. We've had such an amazing day today visiting Petworth House and Deer Park. I'm so happy that we've been able to come here to do a visit to share how accessible and what they have to offer here. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this short film. We would like to say a massive thank you to Petworth House for letting us pop along today so that we can share with others what to expect whilst visiting. 
I would also like to say a massive thank you to Hubby for filming and thank you to you, the viewers, for watching and supporting Rara's Ventures. If you have only just joined and would like to help support Rara's Ventures, please hit that subscribe button. It's free and easy to do and will really help support what we are doing. As we were going around with the mobility scooter, we found it quite easy. Um, going around the park is a bit more bumpy, but as long as it's a large or medium sized scooter, you should be okay. You might struggle if it's a small pack away scooter. Wheelchairs will be absolutely fine. There's, it's accessible in the house and in the kitchen area. It's all wide and flat. Um, there, is also a few steps going down into the dairy and I believe the larder room so another thing to bear in mind as you're visiting um, there is interaction says um, leaflets for children or adults to pick up that you have to find things on your little walk around the home and kitchen so make sure you look out for them there's also a code scanner where you can use your phone to scan this guide and it will give you a talk of a tour of your visit around the house as you're walking around. It's also something worth doing so you can learn about the history of the house and the kitchens as well. So this worth downloading whilst visiting the house and the kitchens. It shares a bit of that history and lets you know about what you're looking at as you're walking around. I love the fact that there's lots of interactions that are for adults and children and it's a lovely quiet place to relax and have a nice picnic on a sunny day or go see the geese or the ducks and the deer. We look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, lots of love. See you soon. Bye!